Oh goodness, I almost forgot. One of the biggest features that are, will be available on the Windows Phone 7.5 is the ability to multitask. This is a feature that has been long sought after because all of the other mobile OS devices have this ability to multitask. And it's something that's going to be brand new in Windows Phone 7.5. So I'll show you how it works. So say you are in a game. I'm playing Geo Defense, which I love. Fantastic game. But oh, I just got an email. I'm going to go to my homepage. Click an email. Okay. Email. Oh, now that I've read my email, you can hold the back button and it will bring up all the other things that you've done, all the different multitasking bits that you're in. So I can jump right back into my game without having to wait for any kind of a load screen. <laughs> Except for that was kind of a load screen. But it's, so as you can see, that's still a. It is multitasking, but it's not like there's no load screen, the things aren't still running. Um, if they were all still running, that would be terrible on the battery life. So, it's kind of a mostly multitasking, it just kind of freezes it. So it's like a pause button on, the, on it, which is great. Um, I know that was a bit of a, a misconception on my part when I was first when I first heard about multitasking, thinking that it would just drain the battery, but it's not. It actually pauses whatever you're doing and allows you to switch to another uh, task. So the way it works is that whenever a whenever an app is exited using the home button, it saves it into your multitasking. If you want to delete something in your multitasking, unfortunately you can't just hold it and hit delete. I'm assuming this is a feature that will be added soon because it, it kind of just makes sense. It's it's you know it just makes sense. But for the, at this point, you have to exit using the back button. Exiting using the back button will take it out of your multitasking, uh, you know, kind of drawer. Uh, I know this is going to be tough for me because I'm used to hitting the Windows, the home button. Home button is a button that I always use because I, I hate to just keep on pressing back, back, back if I'm, you know, if I'm further into menus, you know, hitting back, back, back just to get to the home page. Um, but then again, since it's not actually wasting very much more battery having it in the multitasking, it's not a pain. It's just if you're kind of OCD like I am about having so many things in the in the multitasking, I like to keep it as you know limited to only things that I want to have in there. And I know that they have something in these settings that's about multitasking over here, background tasks. That you'll be able to choose what third-party apps can run in the background. But at this point, um, either I actually don't have any apps that use this, or it's something that won't be available until the full build you'll be able to put exceptions on them, so telling certain certain apps not to be able to run in the background, or I'm assuming also having certain ones having certain ones that can and hopefully being able to tell certain ones not to. Because I know things like email or text messaging, you know, I wouldn't want to be able to run in the background just because that's easy enough to get to anyways. Uh, but things like certain games, probably all games for me, uh, would be able to multitask so that if I accidentally hit a button and exit it, I don't have to wait for it to completely load back up uh, like you would with Windows Phone 7. So that's something that is now a feature. Um, hopefully some of the, you know, exception, the exception system, I guess, for background tasks uh, will be more fully operational once the full build is available coming this fall. So that's going to be it for my comparison videos of Windows Phone 7 versus Windows Phone 7.5. The Mango update should be coming out this fall. Uh, if you are a developer, you should be getting an email sometime soon uh, inviting you to join this amazing journey into Windows Phone 7.5. Thanks for watching, YouTube. Talk to you later.